So, little problem today. We ordered a 32 millimeter carbide reamer. It turns out that it was a, in quotes, new surplus uh, expansion reamer. And the problem is, if we come down here, we got one and two pretty close to just about 60, a little bit under, which would be slightly undersized the 32 millimeter and would actually still work for what we're doing. But we come up here at the big end and we're at one and 274, which is way big. So what somebody has done is expanded this and sometimes you do that for emergency. They might have even used it on some soft material. Um, but you're really only supposed to ever expand them and then you regrind them. Uh, and if you can expand it as a trick to get yourself by is one thing, but to expand it and then we start thinking it's still like a new one causes problems for us in the rest of the world that use surplus tools. I could have ordered a new one that was the right size, but it would have taken longer to get. And now that we're needing this, well, let's see if it will settle back and if it will work. Still too big. And then I got to check every one of the, every one of these. Hopefully it will go a little under. Uh-oh, it don't look like it's springing back anymore. If it goes a little under and I can spread it back out it would make me feel better. Then, okay, 62, that's still actually too big, it's supposed to be 61, 62, okay, well, under 61 there, we are just a little under 61 there. Little under 61 there. And a little under 61 there. So all things being considered, we will say run with it because it should work for what we're doing. But it's an annoyance. You get a reamer and you're going to sell it as a new surplus reamer, measure it. See if somebody screwed it up first.